Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to talk about some of the creature merchandise from Galaxy's Edge and Star Wars Celebration. <laughs> All right, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is my little space on the interwebs where I talk about Star Wars and how it's been with me since the very beginning. I've uh, been with the franchise since day one, and so I've kind of grown up with Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I love all things Star Wars, and so this channel is all about just my experience and uh, started off talking about Star Wars Celebration. And uh, if you'd watched those series of videos, you know, I didn't make it to the Celebration store, the actual Celebration store, because the line was just too long. Uh, I later went home and ordered uh, some of the merchandise. One of the things I ordered was the Crystal Fox. I wanted to get the Crystal Fox stuffed animal for my son, and I wasn't happy with it. It was just way too small. Uh, my son likes to cuddle with his stuffed animals, and this thing was just, it was more like a display piece and less like a stuffed animal. It wasn't very cuddly. And so I was kind of disappointed with it. I made a video about it. You can watch that video also. Uh, but what I ended up doing was I ended up selling it back on eBay. I, I sold it back on eBay, and what I wanted to do was then turn around and buy the Loth Wolf, also from Star Wars Celebration. So that happened. I ordered the Loth Wolf. Here it is. Um, as you can see, he is much larger than the Crystal Fox, much larger, <laughs> way better size, way more kind of uh, cool looking, boy looking. I mean, I mean, I wanted I wanted something that was, you know, for my son and he is 11. So he is kind of an older kid. And this is going to work so much better for him, not just as a Star Wars fan, but as a boy who likes stuffed animals. So very happy with the Loth Wolf, very happy with its size. He's not overly soft. He's packed um, pretty tightly. Uh, but, and he has, he has a very, he has a very strong, very rigid body, but again, much more substantial size. And he and I are huge fans of Star Wars Rebels. So I know he's going to like that. And so the other thing is I got two more creatures, I got two more creatures from Galaxy's Edge. I mentioned in the Coca-Cola video that my brother-in-law went to Galaxy's Edge and he said, Hey, we can, we can buy some merchandise. We can bring it back for your kids. Um, told him what I wanted. And, uh, one of the things we wanted was sold out as soon as they walked in to the place. It sold out so fast. And uh, the other thing I, I said to get was to get the Dewback because uh, if you watch my Star Wars collection video, you know I love Dewbacks. I collect all things Dewback. And so he was able to get the Dewback for me, which is right here sitting on my shelf. And uh, he's not the traditional Dewback. He's more the, the newer uh, Star Wars Dewback. But as you can see, the paintwork on this is beautiful. It looks very... Uh, lizard like his skin looks really lizardy and uh, he's got fully articulating legs his tail is an add-on piece and there's certainly some rigidity to it but i haven't been able to see that it actually moves i don't think his tail moves he has a little switch on the bottom of his belly you just turn him on like that and then once you do that he does this and then you, you literally have to stick your finger in his mouth to make him make noise <laughs> but uh he will be a fine addition to my other dewbacks that are sitting up on my shelf he won't actually go here this is not this is not the right place for him and the other thing i got was the porg puppet uh this is the porg puppet that we got uh my 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 older son has a porg already so we thought let's get the porg for my younger son i was kind of hoping this would be again more like a stuffed animal but maybe just a little bit more involved what we weren't prepared for that this is a full-on puppet this is a full-on like marionette type puppet like this won't really be a stuffed animal that can be cuddled with or put in your bed because he has a hollow body and he's got full plastic like articulation controls inside his body so if you reach up inside his body there's two little left and right triggers when you pull the triggers down it makes his um, wings go up and if you pull uh, just one of the triggers down, it makes him make the noise and move his mouth. So he's a, a full on puppet with motion and noise. But like I said, he doesn't really work as a stuffed animal that you could cuddle with in bed. And that was kind of, a, I, we were a little bit disappointed with that. I mean, we knew it was a puppet, but we didn't know it was gonna be like a hard interior skeletal 
like full awesome puppet. So I don't know. He's a great puppet, bad stuffed animal. And let me just say, I know a lot of people, uh, especially the haters, you know, they get on Disney and they say, oh, Disney ruined Star Wars. And I, I really don't care what your opinion is because your opinion is valid. It's your opinion, obviously. Um, I love the fact that Disney and Star Wars are married together. I'm really looking forward to Disney Plus and The Mandalorian and, and going to Galaxy's Edge and seeing all these things. But the thing that I think that Disney has really done well is this new wave of merchandise. You know, if it's one thing that Star Wars fans have always loved, it's merch. Like, we love merch. We love anything that you put Star Wars onto. And that was one of the reasons that I went to Star Wars Celebration was because of the merchandise. Like, to have so much merch there and such a wide variety of it, kid in a candy shop, right? So, again, with Disney, everything I've seen that has come out of Galaxy's Edge and even the things that they had long before that with like Star Tours and whatnot, Disney has always had great Star Wars merchandise and they do merchandise really well. Disney does merchandise really well. They do marketing really well. And so for me, as a Star Wars fan that likes merch, that likes collectibles and things that sit on my shelf, yeah, I can't go wrong with Disney. Hey, as always, you can comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are either with Disney or Disney Plus or merch or some of the characters that I've shown you today or stuffed animals or if you've had similar experiences. I always want to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.